I think marriage is a a celebration of two people <laughs> who know they want to spend the rest of their lives together. I fell in love with you the first moment I laid eyes on you. A lot of water has gone under the bridge. We've experienced sadness, a lot of pain. But somehow through it all, that love endured and it got stronger. I choose to believe that God had a plan for us. Oh, I want to do this right. <laughs> my beautiful Marlena, my best friend, my soulmate, love of my life, my doctor. <laughs> You know where I'm going with this, don't you? I've got a pretty good idea. I want an old-fashioned wedding. I want a church wedding. I want bells and, and rice and flowers. Will you do it? Will you marry me again? Will you marry me? Will you please marry me again? One last time? <laughs> Join two extraordinary people, Marlena and John, and Holy Matrimony. I'm Marlena. Take you, John. To be my lawfully wedded husband. I, John Black. Take thee, Marlena. To be my wife. To have and not to hold. From this day forward. For better, or for worse. To love and cherish. Love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. As long as we may live. John and Marlena have written their own vows. Now they would like to say them to one another. There are things in my life that I don't remember. But I do remember the first time that I saw you. And my heart stopped. She did it again. <laughs> Sweetheart, you just stopped my heart when I saw you standing there at the end of the aisle. They can take a human being and they can do a lot of things to him. But they can't take away his love. I love you and it is that simple. Oh, honey, we just are meant to be together and I'm so happy that we are. And here we are. I knew I was going to spend the rest of my life with you from the first moment I laid eyes on you. Now I know that nobody can ever promise what the future will bring. I know it isn't always no sale. Whatever comes, I'm right here with you. It will always be by your side. I love you so much. The worst is coming gone. And I still love you. Whatever comes. 
truth. I am yours. Now it is my humble privilege as a minister of the Lord to pronounce you. I pronounce you husband and wife. Husband and wife. Husband and wife. What God has joined together, let no man put asunder. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. and Mrs. John Black. I'm going to make a toast to the bride and groom. No two people deserve happiness or long life together more than you two. May you be as joyful and as blessed and as loved as you are at this very moment, always. Put your faith in love and we'll carry you through life. Cheers. If I remember correctly, right after the first dance, the bride and groom <laughs> have to cut the cake. Everybody, we would like to thank you all for sharing this perfect evening with us. Have a great time and drive safely going up. We're on our honeymoon. And what usually follows the wedding ceremony? Oh. Honeymoon? <laughs> the honeymoon has begun. Let's just have the most spectacular anniversaries ever. Happy anniversary, Don. Oh, happy anniversary. This was our past. And it's been an amazing one. And I firmly believe that dust is yet to be. John and I.